What's up guys and welcome back to the video. Today what we're going to be doing is seeing if installing this 034 Motorsport Turbo Inlet Hose will give us a little more sound. I have the GoPro set up over there so we're going to try to get some comparisons of my setup right now versus when we get this on. What I have done to the stock airbox right now is remove the snow guard. This cover is also off too. I don't know if it allows for more airflow. Um, and we have a KNN high filter panel thing in there. Right now it sounds pretty decent. Um, obviously it's not going to be as loud as an open intake. What I like about the stock unit here is that since it isn't closed as opposed to open from some other brands, it does help against drawing in hot air. But um, I do love my Wushu Turbo noise sound so let's go ahead and see if the mods that I've done so far and with the addition of this, see if it'll make some noise. So you have the GoPro set up right there. I'm gonna go ahead and start up the car so we can record some uh, clips of the setup right now. So I'll go ahead and give it a few blips now. Hope that caught on camera. Can't really hear from inside of the car, but I hope the GoPro did get it. Turn this guy off. So before we get started, let's talk about what's been done, what we're going to do, and why it's beneficial. So like I stated earlier, the only two things that I've done to this stock box right here is remove the snow guard and replace the OEM panel with the KNN high filter panel. So by removing that snow guard, if you guys haven't seen it, I'll see if I can put like a picture right here or something. But um, it is basically, if you live in a snowy environment, it helps prevent dirt getting in your like intake and everything like that. But as you can see from the picture, it's going to be pretty restrictive in terms of airflow. So I live in California, we don't get that much snow here, so boom, take it out. And it's really simple. There's these T25s all around. These bolts can't back out, they stay right here. So you'll never drop them down into your engine bay, which is really good. Um, but once you remove this, you'll see the filter. And once you remove the filter, you'll take the snow guard. You'll see the snow guard at the bottom. It's really simple, just rip that bad boy out if you're never gonna use it again. Replace that OEM one with a high panel one. It does help out a lot for sound, I'm gonna say, especially when you're inside of the cabin, it's really cool. But it's not gonna be as loud as a whole, you know, open system intake. So another thing that's been done is this cover's been removed. I don't know if it really does help out with airflow that much. I would think so because that top piece covers everything right here and only allows air through this inlet where all the hot air is gonna go through here and then through here into the intake. But um, I would think by removing that cover, you have a lot more you know, airflow coming in. So that'd be a really good thing too. Another thing that a lot of people do, which I still need to find the time to do, is that they drill out sections right here to allow air to go directly into the intake. And there's actually a block off that you can buy for this side so that it doesn't draw from here, but it draws from this section believe it's like some OEM Euro thing. I may look into getting that, but for now, we'll just focus on this. And then now you'll also notice that I have no cowling right there, and my hood insulation is off. If you look online, a lot of people say it is placebo, but when I ran it on my Mark VI and when I did it on this guy right here, it definitely made a noise difference. And from as far as I know, there is really no judgment by taking it off. People say, oh, you'll ruin your paint. like. Bro, it's just the underneath of the hood, like you can't even see anything. It doesn't really get that hot. Same thing with my Mark VI. I ran it for a year, perfectly fine. Same thing with the cowling, took it off. Nothing, no detriments at all. So if you're looking for some free ways to you know, improve airflow and improve noise, I recommend getting rid of that snow guard, <clears throat> this cover, the cowling right there and taking off the insulation. If you want a little more airflow, then obviously you'll get like um, a high flow panel or something. Um, you could also do the inlet pipe and then today what we're doing is the hose on there. Let's go ahead and get started on it. So the reason why we're gonna be replacing this section of the, uh, this pipe right here is that if you'll notice on the stock, there's a lot of like ridges. What I think, I don't know exactly, don't quote me on this, but what I think this is trying to do is that it disrupts the airflow, it makes it a lot, you know, quieter, it helps to muffle 
that noise because obviously this is supposed to be an economy car. Um, if I were a normal person, I wouldn't like it if my car were super loud or anything like that, but I'm guessing that these ridges right here do help in muffling the noise, but it doesn't make that airflow smooth to the turbo. Whereas, where did I leave that pipe right here? This guy right here, the 034 pipe, it's a pretty damn big difference as opposed to this. Whereas this is made out of plastic, this is made out of, honestly, I don't even know what it's made out of, but I do know that it's reinforced. If you look in the threads right there, it is a lot smoother. It's a smoother bore than this one right here, definitely. So we'll go ahead and swap this out and see if it makes a difference. So I may or may not have um, forgotten to charge the GoPro, but I'll show you what we've done so far. Very little progress. Um, I've used these pliers to remove this part of the hose right there. Let me put these down real quick. And if you'll notice, we've got, let me see if I can shine a light. And we've got the little hose clamp down there. Usually it'll be facing towards the front. I don't know why it's facing down there, but see if we can find a way to remove it. So not the best way, but I've got my flathead on my screwdriver right here. I'm attacking it from this angle. It is pretty dark. I apologize. Cool. So I'm attacking it from this side. Uh, don't know if you guys can still see it, but I'll let you guys know when I can get it out. So we have both the intake hoses side by side right here. What I didn't notice as well is that there's also ridges on there. Um, like I said, I don't know if this is for flex to help fitment or if it's for muffling the airflow. So we'll go ahead and install this one now. This one's really easy, it's just a hose clamp right here and a hose clamp right here. I was able to get this one off, it took a little bit, but let's go ahead and get this 034 pipe on. Alright, so the pipe is on. As always, you want to make sure and go around, make sure that there's a proper seal around both. Um, I haven't tightened the clamps yet just because I'm making sure fitment is okay and that it's sealed. But yeah, that's how it looks like for now. Definitely looking a lot better than the OEM piece, but as soon as I make sure that that side's good and this side's good, we'll tighten it down and uh, start her up. I just finished tightening everything down. These two hose clamps are secure. This one, as you can tell, is a little wonky. Um, don't really know what's going on with it, but they're both on there tight. <sighs> Won't be coming off anytime soon. So let's go ahead and um, give it the first start. Car's back together. We're gonna go ahead and take it on the first drive to see if we can hear any more noise from this uh, inlet hose. So for 40 bucks, I say it is definitely worth the um, little sound gain that you do get. For 40 bucks for that hose, 40 bucks for the panel filter, and for the free stuff that you can do by taking off the snow guard, taking off the cowling, taking off the hood insulation, I definitely say that it is well worth it. Um, I'll see if I can get another pull in for you guys. Windows are rolled down a bit. Let's see if we can hear it a little bit better. Well, that's it for this video. I um, hope that helped you you know, maybe try this out for a little bit, see if you like the noise or not. Obviously, if you want more gains, you're gonna have to go with the open system, but for, you know, what, like a minute to take this off, not even like 15 to take the cowl off, probably like three minutes to take the snow guard off, another two minutes to take this off, for all that time included, and then if you wanna replace that panel and that hose right there, I think the gains are worth it. But um, if you guys do this, try this out, please comment down below. Let me know if you like it or if you didn't like it and the reasons why. But um, yeah, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay tuned.